We promised you a closer look at the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine that this country is expected to receive via the COVAX facility in the next few weeks. Here's Sunalala. The Oxford AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine is said to be made from a weakened version of a common cold virus known as an adenovirus from chimpanzees. It has reportedly been modified to look more like coronavirus and once injected, it teaches the body's immune system how to fight the real virus if it needs to. There's been some positive developments as it pertains to this vaccine in the past few weeks, showing a 76% effectiveness after one shot and 82% effectiveness after the booster shot taken three weeks after. According to the BBC, research has shown that it's highly effective and no one given a vaccine in trials developed severe COVID or needed hospital treatment. TTT News spoke to a UK resident who recently received her first AstraZeneca jab and says the side effects from the vaccine lasted just about half a day. The following day, um, I experienced very mild, very mild flu-like symptoms. Very bad headache, a little bit of a temperature, but uh, that was easily fixed with some Percy Smalls and ibuprofen. Um, and then by Sunday morning, I was completely well again. South Africa recently paused the rollout of this particular vaccine since it has been seen to be less effective against the South African variant. Ms. Moore, who is on the high-risk grouping due to having kidney disease, said she had no hesitation in taking the vaccine, having done all her research before and seeing that it is effective against the UK strain. She gave it her own stamp of approval, saying vaccination is the only way to get the world interacting again. Um, I believe with the AstraZeneca, the worst symptoms are after the first dose and that the second one isn't so bad. So um, if you're offered it, I would absolutely recommend getting it. And it's going to make the world difference to just getting all of us moving again. Ms. Moore says it has been a quite difficult year since her job thrives on the coming together of people being an event manager in London. She is hoping that enough of the world can get vaccinated to have somewhat of a normal life again. There's nothing like that buzz of being around so many people and everyone just enjoying themselves. And it all seems quite alien already. Um, I can't wait. I cannot wait until our first big event. Um, I'll hopefully have some sort of party atmosphere. The WHO has recently advised that the vaccine is safe for persons over 65 years old and also confirmed that the vaccine is currently undergoing trials to test how well it works in children. Sonalala, TTT News. Tobago has no active COVID-19 cases. However, the island's health officials say they are ready to accept and administer the COVID-19 vaccines. We receive the vaccines by the 25th of this month and um, our storage capacity is in the vicinity of about 30,000 as advised by uh, Dr. Mitchell. At Tuesday's Division of Health update, Secretary Tracy Davidson Celestine sought to debunk any notions about this new vaccine. I encourage all of you, members of the public, residents of Tobago, and even by extension Trinidad and Tobago, to not be misinformed and to not continue to buy into the fake news that is out there and I've been listening to all sorts of conspiracy theor theories and that the vaccine is in fact the mark of the beast. But I want to tell you that globally, the vaccine has been reducing the spread of the COVID virus. And so the vaccine comes with tremendous hope for us here in the Caribbean and also in Tobago. Tobago's health officials say preparations are taking place to ensure the smooth rolling out of the COVID-19 vaccines. The immunization process would take place at the Scarborough, Canaan and Roxborough Health Centers or on appointment basis. 